Hey folks, in today's video, we're going to learn how to create this circular rotating text animation. It's quite a simple trick, but it can really elevate your presentation design. So, let's get started. Let's open up a brand new slide, and the first thing we'll do is change the background color. So choose a color of your liking. I'm using this nice Christmassy green. And then let's go ahead and add some text. Once you've added your text, of course, change your font color and choose the type of font you want to use. Let's make it a little larger. Once you have your text box ready, let's go over to Shape Format, Text Effects, Transform and let's choose the circle. Then, let's go over to our Format Shape options and go into Size and Properties. Let's equalize the height and width of our text box. So let's say it's about 30 by 30. And then lock your aspect ratio. So your text is now in a square shape. Then in order to make it a full circle, you can either increase your font size or you can just play around with the size of your circle depending on the type of design you're creating. And there, in fairly short order, we have our circular text ready. Let's add a few design elements before we animate it. So I'll quickly grab a circle that goes inside our text. Let's make sure both are aligned properly. We can remove the circle outline as well. And let's add this picture inside the circle. In order to do that, let's just go over to Shape Format, Picture Fill, and Clipboard. It automatically picked it up. That's great. And I'll also paste in a wreath graphic. And I'll increase its transparency. This is an SVG, so we can play around with it quite easily. And I'll take it up to 85%, just so it's not too in your face. Now let's go on and animate everything. So let's select our text box, go over to animations and simply give it the spin animation. Let's go to our animation pane, set it with previous. Let's go over to effect options. Uh, let's change the timing to about 20 seconds and let's set it to repeat until end of slide. Let's take a look at it. So that's how it will look. And then let's go over to Animation Painter and give the same animation to the wreath we added. But this time in Effect Options, let's turn it to Counterclockwise. Let's take a look at it. And that's looking pretty nice. Of course, you can experiment with adding other animations or imagery, depending on the type of project you want to create. Now, let's duplicate this slide. Let's go over to Home and let's drag in a block arc. We'll flip it upside down and we'll drag it over the bottom half of our text just so it matches the picture on the inside. You may have to play around with the adjustment a little bit to get it just right. But as long as it blocks your text and not the image, it doesn't have to be exactly perfect. So that's a little mask we've created. And just for variety, I will change this background to this blue. And then this mask will change to blue as well and remove the shape outline. We'll take a look at it. And there we go. 
So that's a slightly different style you can create with the text appearing and disappearing. Of course, if you want to change the readability of the text, we can also change this to go counterclockwise and let's change the graphic to go clockwise. So now when we look at it, the text should appear more readable in an order. I recently used the same animation to create a holiday card collection. The four you see in front of you can be downloaded for free or if you prefer, you can buy the entire collection. The links for both will be down in the description. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave us a thumbs up and I'll see you next time.